quick note from me while editing. Uh, I mispronounced Nanute's name in the video. I call him Lelouch for some reason. I also forgot to mention Verona is the reason Arzen is dead now. Uh, just wanted to get that out of the way before this video starts. Uh, uh, anyways, enjoy the video. Hello, my weebs and my weebets, and welcome back to the Sad Channel. And today, we are talking about Verona, played by a Too Spooky in Rustage's One Piece D&D. Links to Too Spooky's channel, Rustage's channel's One Piece D&D playlist, my Twitter, which you should go follow. And when you follow the Twitter, you should go and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And ring that bell. And then while you're at that, you should at least like this video. Because look at you. You're a nice person. Look in the mirror. You see a nice person, right? I look in the mirror. It explains itself. <laughs> but let's get into this video. Where we're going over Verona's character. And how he's caused almost every single event in this story. Um, because Verona is related to every single villain in this story somehow. If they have white hair, it's probably Verona's relative. Alright, so, let's start with Verona's tragic backstory. Actually, one of the more tragic ones of the crew. Verona, one day, has a little ass, in on a bright, sunny day, birds are singing, uh, the cows are mooing, and uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day outside. The sun is, the sun's smiling. Look at the sun. It's, it's so nice. Smiling. Verona comes home. Sees his father, maybe a nice hot meal on the table. Verona's just finished school. And then uh, Captain Mero shows up, burns down the house, kills Verona's father, and burns Verona until he has permanent scars on his body. Verona goes out into the woods, lives there for weeks, waiting for his mother to come back. Bugs infect his wounds. He has scars everywhere. He has to wear a mask and goggles to protect the world from his hideous face now. Yeah, that's his backstory. It's pretty tragic. Not as tragic as people like Brooks, Robbins, maybe like Nami level compared to One Piece characters. Definitely not Usopp level. Um, so, yeah, Verona's backstory. Pretty sad. I say maybe depressing in a bit. But who cares when we have Verona's relevance to the story? Generally, in character, he has, in the South Blue Saga, he has really nothing he did really nothing until the speech against Mera where he pulled down his mask revealing his scars and saying that speech like you did this to me you killed my father now I'm gonna kill you Ch -ch -ch vanishing bullet oh. I just hit my fan I forget I where I'm filming but yeah vanishing bullet boom boom shoots Mero doesn't vanish I know it doesn't vanish I don't know I haven't watched the uh uh, Devils Look Pirates versus Marrow and Valve in a while. But, you know, that whole thing. And then, you know what he does? Absolutely nothing for the rest of that fight, of what I remember. Uh, because I remember Ragnar is the one that finished him off of Kuma Shredder! And all that. So, yeah, Verona did nothing there. But then, we get to the Grand Line, and they fight a shark guy, which has no relevance. He has no relevance there. We meet the Eight Flames, and the Eight Flames is important to Verona, because the leader of the Eight Flames is Verona's grandfather. Yes, V, that's all we know, V, V, V. So, nothing really happens, he learns about V, and then they go fight V. You may say I'm skipping over a lot of relevant stuff. He does nothing. The only thing that really matters is when he finally goes face to face to his grandfather. He's like, Grandfather, uh, I'm here to kill you like I did Mero. You know, I, I wish I had a gun. That'd be cool. But I have the pointing sword, so, you know, everything's good. But like, yeah, I'm gonna kill your father. And he doesn't, grandfather, but he doesn't kill grand, his grandfather. Uh, William is William's the one that does it. Planet Duros. Uh, what did Verona do on Planet Duros? I'm not saying this as an attack to too spooky playing D&D. I'm just saying Verona doesn't really do stuff. He kind of stays in the background. 
Oh, he does do one thing. He hooks up with Lissa. Lissa, yeah. I know she's part of the crew, but God, she's probably one of the most unrelevant characters in the series. Maybe that's why I'm putting her video with Gravies, uh, because I can't pop out like a nine, ten minute video of just Lissa. So, Gravy and Lissa video. Not gonna, maybe the next one. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just putting these around. I know Ragnar's gonna be the last one. I wanted to talk about Ragnar last. But, anyway, he, he hooks up with Lissa. They go back to the All Blue, which is the name of the One Piece world in One Piece D&D. It's the All Blue. After the planet is Duros, he watches um uh, Duros kill himself. It's weird. But they go back and, you know, they get shoved into a Davy back fight. Nothing really happens with Verona there. Uh, oh, he was in the mine car. No, he was in the eating contest where he pulled down. Because he doesn't really eat in front of the crew because of his just scar. He Well, he used to not. He does now. But now because he has all that scarring, it's really hard to eat in front of other people that don't know. But this time he actually pulled down his mask and just like, oh, 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 oh. That's good food. But that's all he really did in the Davy back fight. Uh, what came- Sorry for the quick cut there. I have to remind myself of what came after the Davy back fight arc, which was the Lelouch little storyline. And, um, what happened with Lelouch? Uh, it brought back traumatic memories of what happened to him in his past. So, uh, now let's get to the big event of this video, where we're going Verona's fight against the All-Mother. Well, not, it's the whole crew, but Verona's final moments with the All-Mother. So, again, Verona did not really do that much of relevance in this arc, until the very end, where it, it was a dire situation. William was about to die, Trevor tried to pull him out, but just couldn't get it. Duros and Ragnar were also in the meat glob, uh, the, not meat glob, the dead body glob, and, um, it was really just left up to Verona versus the All-Mother. Nobody else was free. Cyril was just pissing himself, and Louis, I think Louis was out at the time, or he had no time left, like, you know, like, reverse time, so. And there was nothing he could do, and she, uh, the All-Mother was just crying. She wanted to die there. She couldn't control her killing millions, or not millions, thousands of people. So Verona had to pull out the, I think, tracking arrow bullet. Load it up. Aim, fire. It blocked onto her, shot through all the bodies, and killed the All Mother. The crew wanted to save the All Mother. She was a soul that was corrupted, and they wanted to save her. But you need to remember this is not a manga. This is a DD campaign. Which, watching that uh, episode 40, Really reminded me, this is a DD and d campaign. Yeah, they'll probably find a way out. They have the devil's luck. But they can't save everyone. And it really put a downer on the crew having to kill the All-Mother. Because she was just so hot. But also, she was a troubled soul. All she wanted was to bring back Hastings. I also forgot he had to meet uh, kill his father. You know that weird robot subplot where uh, this robot... Took disguise over Verona's father, and Verona's like, you are not my father. <laughs> Boom! There's that, but I think the all-mother stuff takes more importance than that, because it really showed stuff with Verona, and at the end of the arc, he, Lissa makes him a new jacket, and he takes off the jacket his father, Hastings, used to wear. Not Hastings, uh, his, his father, I forgot what his, his father's name was, but he took off the jacket his father used to wear and threw it in the ocean. Finally letting go of his past. He killed V. He killed V Jr. He killed his mom. Uh, his dad's dead. Verona finally comes to peace with himself. And he is probably one of the best characters in this series. Um, Alright, my weebs and weebets. Uh, that's been really it. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. Um, uh, bye.